the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising side for the coming weeks. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This week is a water week. It's an emotional week. Whatever the situation that is transpiring, it's definitely a water week and an emotional week. Okay, so wonderful energies um, that is coming in for you, Virgos. Okay. Virgos, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You Virgos, okay. Week begins from the fourth until the tenth, and I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Wonderful positive energies is coming in. It's all about the young people in this week. As I'm looking, it's all about the young people in this week. Wow, there is some truth that is about to be shed, and some of you are going to be planning. The angman is here, but it's in the reverse, so um, the angman is thinking. Some of you could be in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, okay? And you're thinking about this person, it's like something, um, something isn't right, and you're thinking about this person, okay? So let's go and see. Um, Three of Cups is here. There's going to be some celebration. So you Virgos are starting the week with celebration. Please like, share these videos. Thumbs up, touch the bell, subscribe um, to my channel. Please listen to this um, the, and cross watch to see all where these people are going to be affecting you. Because obviously it's people around you, whether at work or whether in your private life. Okay. The outcomes for your week is the Knight of Pentacles. So you people between the ages of 18 and 45, or let's say um, kids 0 to 18 and 45, whatever is transpiring. And if you work in an organization, whatever is transpiring there, there is going to be a lot of situations coming out. So some celebration, Three of Cups, which is very positive on Monday. Monday is a positive day. Um, Friday is also a positive day. Okay. Um, let's see. The major arcana is um, the major arcana of the hangman. And, um, energy is here to help you guys. The hermit is shedding light on a situation. I a lot of young people is happening, so it has to do a week where kids and these kids or fire sign kids, water kids, and the energy of. Uh, the um hurt kids okay so you're talking about kids who are pisces cancer or scorpion or people young adults um kids and young adults do, that are pisces cancer or scorpion we have also the aries leo and sagittarians and ophiosis then we have also um the energy of the taurus virgo and capricorn people now the young people between the ages of zero, let's say 18 and 45, or zero and 45 for the people who have kids is the center of this week. Okay, kids, young people is the center of this week. So it's going to be affecting them. The older people are going to be more in an emotional sense, and you're going to be finding out things that is going on. Okay. So let's see what is happening, what is transpiring, and let's see where we're going to. Three of Cups is here, some celebration. Monday is going to be very positive. You're overcoming lies and deception. Um, definitely overcoming lies and deception. Um, some of you are going to be finding out that um, a young man sold you out um, for money. This person was someone who was very close to you. And he sold you out for money. Okay, so it could be someone who you slept with. <laughs> Ooh la la, someone who you thought was on your side, but he sold you out for 10 pieces of gold. Ooh, yeah. But you're going to be celebrating over um, this what has transpired. You're going to be finding out and you're going to think, okay, I kind of figure you out. So um, whatever, because you're um, what is going to happen, you Virgos are going to be celebrating over the lies and deception. Okay, be careful that you're not the one who is lying and deceiving. Okay. Um, some situation at work and with your project is going to be coming up for the people who have their business. Hoo -hoo. Now, <laughs> Virgos. Ha -ha. You Virgos. Oh, Lord. You Virgos. Okay, you Virgos. You're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Okay. 
you Virgos are dealing with the Pisces cancer or scorpion and you're trying to figure out this person okay you Virgos are trying to figure out this person the Pisces cancer or scorpion there you know you Virgos are gonna be celebrating over because the outcomes is new love coming in for you young people what is transpiring you new love is coming in for you young people okay so um, people between the age of 18 and 45 you could be falling in love with a Pisces cancer or scorpion that has money <laughs> some of you could be falling in love or try or leaving a fire sign to go for a water sign okay some of you could be leaving a fire sign to go for a water sign now this fire sign has been on your mind you have been thinking about this fire sign and you're deciding to leave this fire sign to go for a water sign okay the hermit is here and it's all about financial stability it's all about shedding light on some money that you weren't aware of the four of cups is here listen to your intuition and plan your way forward whatever is transpiring listen to your intuition and plan your way forward keep it to yourself you don't have to let anyone know what is happening so whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring listen to your own intuition and plan your way forward what is it celebration after lies and deception new love is coming in so some of you Virgos um, was dealing with relationship there was deceptive relationship lies and deceitfulness and deceptiveness um with a new love and you're celebrating coming out of this and being released now this person could have been a pisces cancer or a scorpion or it could be someone at work some of you could have been in a relationship with someone at work and you or um this was someone who comes in as a new love but they weren't being very honest there was um um this person just connected with you for whatever reason but you found out this person and you have cut them out the knight of cups and the ace of pentacles there is some sadness um some of you um virgos um was with the pisces a pisces cancer a scorpion he has walked away and um, you need to get over your sadness and get going okay so whoever this um, um, Pisces cancer or scorpion is or was he has walk away and you have to um, try you really 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 have to try and get over the situation and try and see whatever is transpiring okay you really have to get over the situation okay he has gone let it go let it go let it go now some of you who are dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you're trying to find emotional balance um, after some sadness that has transpired and this has to do with a past life um, relationship okay it could be um, someone in your family that is an um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius some of you are dealing with someone who is from a past life the six of the six of cups is definitely family situation that is from a past life so you they're back and you're so it could be a very good friend or that sort of a thing it could be um, someone in a relationship that you were dealing with and you're trying to balance your emotion with this person the hermit and the four of cups your angels are here in this week Virgo so use your angels the Hermes is shedding light on a relationship that you're in and the hermit is saying to you that your partner is lying to you about not having financial not having the financial that um, you need okay your partner is lying to you about um, his financial stability okay and you're going to be finding this out okay whatever you do whether or not you decide to stay with this person or not I would think if you're in a relationship with someone and they're lying about their financial stability um, let it go cut them off let it go um, you know be alone instead of you be with someone who's lying about their financial stability okay so 
four of cups and your intuition you need to plan and plan don't tell anyone because the energy of the tower is here so um, some of you plan without saying anything if you tell other people your plan your plan won't work out okay so here is it just plan your thing don't tell people what you're planning because your plans won't work out I said that before and it came up with a tower so just um, intuition will plan what you um, are doing eight of Pentacles whatever the situation is with eight of Pentacles your work your project um, your business um, the energy of the yeah double whammy so for you Virgos as at, at work let's see what is going to be happening that's a double whammy so you Virgos are lucky at work um, there's a, a lot to do at work there's a lot to do um, work is going to be coming up some of you your projects are not going good um, ask for especially the young people and I'm seeing that this week is affecting a lot of young people young people between Asia 18 and 45 I'm seeing that this is affecting you at work hardship at work some of you are without work some of you are having your 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 project is not you're giving a lot but um, not a lot is coming out okay the angman um, with a Scorpio Taurus or Capricorn this is definitely um, the Angman energy is um, a Pisces be careful of the Pisces whether the Pisces or scorpion is uh, a lot of you who have Pisces cancer or scorpion in your life they could have just come in your life they could be a new love you're thinking about these people because something doesn't line up listen to your intuition listen to your intuition and it has to do with a romantic partner so some of you are going to be receiving definitely some of you are going to be receiving new love coming in romantically okay some of you are going to receive um, receive new love coming in romantically the Knight of Pentacles um, so people between age of 18 and 45 new love is coming in for you romantically um, and it could be coming from different angles whether water sign fire sign or hurt sign I'm not seeing that for you guys it is more water fine water sign and fire sign okay so um, that is what is transpiring remember whatever you plan to do in this week keep it to see yourself whatever is transpiring definitely keep it to yourself I'm seeing you start with financial stability I am seeing um, the energy of the three of cups you start with financial stability the ace of cups is here and whatever the situation is um, with your project I'm seeing and, and this is what I want to know um, where are my accent cards because definitely let me check for time I can still ask the question because there is a situation with some of you and your project whatever is going on it's as if you're getting a, a hard to, a fight with your project whatever the situation is you are having a fight with your project whatever is transpiring whatever is happening you're having a fight with your project let's see um, yes but money is going to be coming in not to worry money is going to be coming in okay it's as like as if your business is like very slow slow very block let's see um money is going to be coming in okay so if you have a family business money is going to be coming in okay um at this moment it looks as if um it's not working in your favor but hey um money is about to flow okay hardship with your work or your business okay so it could be husband or wife that is having a business but guess what hey um it money is going to start flowing you know whatever the situation is because um um and and this is good there is money in okay you might be setting up a business um with your husband or wife or whoever and it is as if it's it's, it's it's an hardship it's hard to get it off the ground and that sort of a thing but a hey, money is going to be coming in just go ahead just go pushing because it's going to be happening for you guys so this is going to be good 
um i want to say namaste until next time um leave please like share this reading leave your main in it's a beautiful beautiful week for you virgos it's a fantastic week namaste oh no <laughs> Oh my god I have to show you guys your two cards okay I am using the abundancy energies just for the Vir Virgos what is coming up for the Virgos there is two cards you Virgos what is coming up uh, there's a lot of new love that is going to be coming in you Virgo lives a lot of new love your financial stability is going to be good okay so um pay yourself first so that means money is going to be coming in make yourself the most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion for yourself and your incomes okay this is a loving form of self endurance that you will have savings okay so make sure you pay yourself first so if you draw this card it's like saving save okay the second card is moonlighting um, and it says you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping other work um, in um, for paying bills and that sort of a thing so what they're saying is don't go in your full uh, your divine life part fully you need to have another work to back it until it start going positive okay namaste until next time